Well, good morning, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. And we are on July 20th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. We're going to start out here looking at images from Volcano Rubinus in Peru, spewing ash 30,000 feet into the air. This was the live cam view. As well, we have some images from satellite imagery that came through, but still an amazing eruption as that particular volcano has been quiet for a while. There hasn't been a major eruption like that recorded in a bit. So this is the area that we're looking at, Volcano Ubinus, and look for the dark brown smoke within the white this is a pretty large eruption I'm able to see it from space I'm gonna go here to the Pacific Disaster Center as we have early morning warnings for tornadoes in Wisconsin already as that same system that brought tornadoes yesterday throughout Minnesota is moving through so volcanoes to update here, of course, Ubinus, Sabinkaya, Popo, Sengang, Ducono, Reventador, and as well, all these fires throughout Russia, sparking up again. We're going to have a look at the NASA worldview of this situation as it is pretty large and visible from space. Counting here over 200 hot spots. It's going to show here the last few days as these fires have progressed throughout Russia. Now we went through this kind of same thing last year, but it was in June. Still, look at the size of this fire. Hundreds of thousands of hectares are burning away in Russia. Let's have a look at our sun the last 24 hours. Not much to talk about, except an earth-facing coronal hole wind stream. That small uh, earth-facing sunspot looked like it was going to have a little bit of life. It fizzled out. But the coronal hole wind stream will definitely be affecting us. We'll be watching the real time solar data on the solar wind. Wanted to show you here as well this is the year so far for earthquakes 7,085. Now that's only recording 4.0 and greater. Last year we had 14,000. So we're already halfway to our number from last year. Let's get to earthquakes here. The last 24 hours. Oh, sorry. This isn't the last 24 hours. This is the last eight hours. That looks a little more reasonable. So earthquakes still going off in California. Moving north as far as Petrolia, California of the 2.7. Had some action on the west Ring of Fire, Russia, as well Japan, and Philippines with a 4.5, and then a deep earthquake here, 589 kilometer depth in the Philippines. So watch for a larger shallower earthquake because that just happened recently. And it looks like it's the movement is still going north after yesterday, we had that 5.4 in Greece, and today at 4.3 in Kajikistan. So this is the last 24 hours. It's been somewhat busy. Notable too is Easter Island with a 4.8, 10 kilometer depth. As well, New Zealand recording 3.3. I'm sure there are a lot more that are recorded there just not on this feed. 
Let's get to the last seven days for earthquakes from around the world. Still seeing a deep earthquake event across the planet. So stay aware and prepared. Have a plan. Be ready. Because when these deep earthquakes hit, they send larger and shallower earthquakes around. It's all about staying aware and prepared. You got to be ready for anything these days. God bless humanity. God bless you. And thank you for watching today. And welcome to all my new subscribers as well. Welcome to the family. Let's get to the five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Meteor Mike across northeastern North America. Watch for a change in temperatures, especially throughout Ontario. They've been experiencing quite a heat wave. 45 degrees it feels like but it won't last for long one more day and the cool down will begin but definitely watch for thunderstorms popping up as that low moves east bringing cool air into the humid mix across alberta temperature swing will continue next week temperatures reaching possibly 25 degrees watch for thunderstorms to develop as another low develops in the north all of our systems are coming from the north this summer it's very strange having a look across the pacific tropical storm danis brought quite a situation to taiwan and as well the korea korean pen peninsula uh, south and north of korea Eye of the storm is right over Korea right now. No typhoons, no cyclones to talk about. All quiet on the Pacific front. Except for this large southern hemisphere cyclone looking thing. And then this large low pressure system battering South America. So I've been talking about this situation. This is an extreme weather event for Argentina. Watch for videos and stories coming out soon from the situation there. South America, not much to report. Atlantic Ocean, no hurricanes to report. Couple areas of interest here in the East Pacific Ocean. One moving straight north and another one developing Guatemala. It's very strange indeed. Jet streams and weather patterns have changed dramatically. Across Europe, heat wave still continues across western parts of Europe, throughout Paris, France, and Spain. Low pressure systems coming in off the Atlantic. Not really set to cool down things yet. As well, the heat wave continues in the West Indies. Throughout Iran and Iraq. Extreme heat here in Afghanistan as well. Temperatures reaching 45 without the humidex. Have a quick look here at the Southern Hemisphere. Large low pressure system still spinning around the South Pole. Set to bring a little bit of rain and some some wind to Tasmania and as well towards South Africa as this large low pressure system is tracking its way east but more of a southeasterly pattern. We'll have to see what it does here in the coming days. South Africa looking for relief. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.